So welcome back to Phil Marriott on YouTube. This is Raj Rudolph. This is Phil Marriott. And we are Boys on Film, and today we're reviewing Booksmart. Well, I say we, because I'm going to let you do the talking, because you've seen it, and I've only seen the trailer. Just seen the trailer. People ask me all the time, what was your favourite film at South by Southwest this year? And hands down, my favourite film was Booksmart, directed by Olivia Wilde. Um, her directorial debut. Wow! This was one of those movies that was just so magical to watch and so funny. The whole movie theatre was just in hysterics the whole time. And it kind of has that same feeling of like, you know, 80s John Hughes movies with like Breakfast Club yeah. and Pretty in Pink. I got that feel from the trailer. Yeah, definitely. but it's just like, it's like this generation's Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink. And what she's done is quite, uh, is quite good. She's gathered like this really fantastic new Hollywood cast of, of kids that are like the, you know, the film stars of tomorrow. And she's brought them all together as like a starting point and told this hilarious story about two girls who are graduating from high school and they realize that they have not done anything yeah. except study and get straight A's and they're just like, we were gonna go all out, you know, balls to wild. the wall <laughs> and get a bit wild in their own crazy way. From start to finish, Phil, this movie is just hilarious. It's like more hilarious than any movie I've seen for the last three years, actually. So. Well, that trailer was, what, two minutes? Yeah. But just from that short segment, you can tell that the writing is really good as oh, well. Oh, absolutely. And obviously the acting, because you've got to get that comic timing right. And it looks like these two girls together played on each other and just delivered. Yeah, no, not, I have never seen these girls before. No, I mean, I probably have in some other things. Mm. I didn't realize it was them, but I've never seen them before. And like the chemistry between them two being like best friends, and then one of them's quite, you know, kind of a shy little like new lesbian and yeah. baby, baby lesbian, and like it's just so it's such oh, it just it just makes you laugh, and you just love. Every character that's played in here is just like, oh, it kind of makes me wish I was in high school again. But it's great to see female-led TV shows and movies now. Yes. And like, it really dominating the industry at the moment because we've got Phoebe Waller-Bridge, of course, has just done the second series of Fleabag. Mm -hmm. She's doing incredibly well with Everyone the theatre production. Everyone keeps talking about it. Yeah, I really, need really to see good. It. Yeah. And we've got this. And obviously the two female stars of this just really taking control of the industry. I think it's brilliant to see. Yeah. And obviously the director and the writer too. I think this movie is gonna be one of the most appropriate movies to kick off the summer movie season. And so. it's the kind of thing that a lot of people, a lot of writers and directors get wrong too. Hands down, this is my favorite movie I've seen this year. I know it's only May, but <laughs> it's my favorite movie I've seen this year. It's gonna be at the top of well, towards the top of my list, probably at the end of the year, based yeah. on uh, uh, what else you know comes out this year. But uh, I just thoroughly enjoy this movie. Do not hesitate. Buy your tickets to go see it. It's a nice change from all the summer blockbusters that come out. And uh, it's one thing that I really love about South by Southwest that they do really well and they curate really well is they do good comedy films and they mm. do good horror films. And like this was. You know, easily one of the audience favorites this year. So. Well, we've spoken about this before, but it's the kind of film we need to see at the moment. Yeah. Because we need feel good films. We need to laugh. That are relatable. Because mm -hmm. this is relatable. I mean, a lot of kids the same age, I'm sure, are going to, you know, think, oh my God, that's me. Yeah. And then it addresses, screen. like, all the very current now stuff that, like, teenagers go through. And, you know, it still has all the, like, high school y cliques and, mm. you know, the jocks and the nerds. And, but it doesn't make fun of them. It yeah. doesn't, like, you know, make, make, a, you know, uh, make a point that, like, one class is higher than the other. It kind of just, it's very, it's not like an equal playing ground of all different, like, cliques, backgrounds, and points of view and what Olivia Wilde done here is truly magic. I hope she keeps up this momentum because she really brings something as a female director to the industry. That they're not needs. poking fun of the characters because they're owning it. Those yeah. characters are owning oh, yeah. their lives, aren't oh, they? Yeah. yeah, they're in control. So it's book smart. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to be seeing it? If you are, let us know in the comments below. Uh, we'll be back soon for another review. Uh, don't forget to check out our playlist as well up there. See you soon. Cool.